A general journey in photogrammetry. What is photogrammetry? Our goal is to make 3D models representing real objects effectively, taking into consideration shape and colors. We call them reality-based 3D models. Different types of 3D models exist. Surfing the web, it's easy to find impressive 3D models representing all kinds of things, for example, people or machines. They are so convincing that it can be hard to distinguish them from reality. We can then find ourselves immersed in environments populated with virtual models, where virtual is the space itself, the buildings, the vegetation, and so on. Video games, apps, artistic portfolios often mix real, unreal, surreal models. In this world of variety, we want to focus on reality-based 3D models, which are models of real objects, both natural and man-made. We will take into consideration 3D models that are made starting from images. We will focus our attention on matter models, those made to real scale, whose shape corresponds in a satisfactory manner to the original object. Without going too deeply into technical details, we will demonstrate how to produce 3D models starting from real objects, using a digital camera or even a smartphone. Since the images are the main element for our models, the better they are, the better the resulting models. First, we will introduce some basic geometrical principles, describing why we need to take more photos and how 3D reconstruction works. Then, we will show how to take effective photographs to produce good models, including photographic tips which enable someone to shoot photos suitable for photogrammetry. We will think of photogrammetry as a kind of black box, avoiding detail concerning algorithm and specific software. However, we will provide information on how to build good quality 3D models from a medic point of view. At the end of your work, you will see not only the appearance of the object, but also its size, taking measurements on the model that closely correspond to the real object. Photogrammetry permits defining the shape of an object. With appropriate tricks, size can be accurately documented using the information recorded in a series of photographs of the same object, taken from different angles. The photographs must be taken from different angles to document the entire surface of the object. Let's discuss why this is important. Consider the object you want to reproduce virtually. For example, the small elephant. We will take some photographs of it from different angles. Each photograph records in a 2D space the appearance and shape of the 3D object from a specific angle, that is, a central projection. The center of the projection can be approximately considered in the center of the camera lens. The picture plane corresponds to the sensor. Therefore, we can think of the photograph as a two-dimensional representation of the camera sees the scene. This is the result. All the images record, in part, the same portion of the elephant. Let's now take into account only the photos and imagine placing them where they were at the time they were shot. As we said, we consider photogrammetry a black box. The software used is in charge of the pose estimation, that is, the position of the point of view. In each image, it is possible to find some points representing the same detail of the object. We call them homologous point. If a ray of light would start from one of those points, it projects the point from the image plane into the 3D space, but there is no way of knowing where it should stop. Considering a second photo and a homologous ray projecting a homologous point, 
the ray intersects the previous in a 3D point, corresponding to the object surface. The more images we take into account, the better the position of the point is determined. If we repeat this operation for a very high number of points, let's say for all the pixels in the images, we can reconstruct the shape of the original object through a 3D virtual model made by points, with such a high resolution that its surface seems to be continuous and we need to zoom in to recognize the points. We want to place the photos we took in the same pose they had at their shooting time. But how is it possible to do it? In the past, this issue was resolved thanks to a big, complicated and costly equipment and the patient work of highly skilled and specialized operators. Today, the images are always digital and therefore can be processed with a PC. We have numerous software that uses algorithm capable of solving problems automatically. Some are even developed for use with tablets and smartphones. We will not consider any specific software here. So, what should we do? Take photos! Photos must have good image quality, be shot from different points, frame as much of the object as is possible, not be too many or too few, and overlap with each other. If you want to learn more about that, have a look at the next video.